So we are in the uh, public health lab. Um, we're housed in uh, the science and engineering hall on the ground floor. Um, we had, uh, we were lucky enough to have the uh, hallway closed off for us and this lab space uh, converted um, into a uh, space for us to use for testing. So uh, samples come in from our testing site. Um, we have multiple testing sites, but the main one is the trailer, uh, medical trailer over on H 20th Street. Um, we also have uh, sites at our satellite campuses as well as the Virginia Science and Technology campus. Um, and as well as a symptomatic site uh, that has kind of shuffled around, so currently it's a learner, but we'll be returning to the Public Health Center soon. So samples arrive at the lab. Um, they are checked in by our staff and assessed for um, whether or not like, they've been collected correctly um, by eye. Um, and then they are processed for uh, or process to get ready for extraction. Um, so in order to test the samples, we actually have to extract um, RNA from uh, the clinical sample. Um, and so to do that, we have to uh, process them. We do batch processing. So um, we do batches of 91 samples, and those get arranged into a 96 well plate. Um, that, so 91 samples, and then we have controls, um, and then they, we use the robots that you see behind us to run our uh, extraction procedure. Um, and from there, the purified RNA goes into our molecular workflow, um, where we do uh, RT-PCR testing to actually test for um, SARS-CoV-2 virus. On an average, our turnaround time is 24, 24 hours to 36 hours. The general model has stayed the same, but the performance has gotten better as we've improved and we still continue to learn and uh, figure out what works best because um, it's a very large operation and we're still continuing to learn as the pandemic goes on.